Hi, this is Leslie Farouk of Team Farouk with a reflection of some of my pedagogical practices during year two of my experience teaching life sciences at the international school known as the American School Foundation of Monterey in northern Mexico. One of my memories of the second year was becoming more involved in knowledge of the curriculum and the spiraling of the science curriculum from grade 6 through grade 12. The science teachers worked together several times during this year in order to establish what was being taught during which classes and how that worked for our overall science program. My ecosystem getaway project was a success and it motivated students to really do great work and this continued project-based learning with an audience of anyone who would walk by and see the posters in the hallway. Experiential learning continued with exploring the plant communities of the lawn outside. Construction had begun on another building on campus in my previous ecology location, but several weed species were prevalent in this new location and made for easy counting because it was maintained more or less. I wanted to discuss the matter cycles with the students but knowing because I taught Science 9 before that they had been exposed to them I wanted to see what they remembered once they were with me in Ecology 12 and so I had different row groups go to the front board and draw, discuss, and come up with their collective memory of the carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus cycles, some of the examples of which are shown here, and basically indicating that a walkthrough of these cycles was probably necessary a second time because three years is a very large spiral gap. The other interesting aspect of ASFM was the conference period sessions that were time dedicated for ceremonies, presentations, and just in general getting to know the students better. One group of students undertook a pumpkin carving contest and they came up with this very creative design of a hamburger and french fry pumpkin. You can see in the display behind me another one of the ecosystem getaway projects and on the cupboards, the species most wanted projects where the students individually showcased an endangered species of their choosing. A lot of research involved in getting these kinds of display projects ready to educate any audience members as to the nature of ecosystems and of endangered species. By the time uh, March came along, I was very notably pregnant and the students kindly threw me a baby shower as a surprise in order to celebrate that I was soon going to be having my first baby. All along I was feeling very responsible for their continued learning in my absence and so I sought to make sure that they would be able to continue to learn without me even if the substitute didn't understand the content and so I created a series of videos that the substitute could play should she not feel comfortable with the genetics material that the students were about to learn in biology 10. This is a one of many of the videos that I made and my husband, his students, produced the videos after I recorded the raw footage. So that was one of a few different times my husband's class has helped me with some of the educational technology needs that I've had in my practice. Well, that's uh, end of year two. I was starting to get a little bit more comfortable with giving over control to the students, and I can't wait to see what year three yields. Thanks for listening.